I'm about to surprise my sister by turning her junkyard of a bedroom into a dream setup by only spending $500 on this new website, Timu. I can't tell you how many people I've seen raving about the cheap tech you can get on this site. It's cheaper than Amazon, it's cheaper than Wish, and for some reason always at the top of the Google search results. I have no idea what's going on, but we're about to find out. Okay, T-E-M-U. It says, shop like a billionaire. What if you only have $500? Oh my goodness, this stuff is so cheap. I don't understand the supposed discounts on this website. How do you give a 99% discount? Okay, so one of the key things that we have to start with is some sort of LED. 130 foot LED strip, sunset lamp projection light. I like it, a little bit of mood lighting. Oh dear, there's a good vibes LED neon sign. I actually think this is right up her alley. Ooh. Massive banana. No brainer. <laughs> we need to make this setup very much like all room lights are off and all ambient lights on. In which case, the transform your home with a 3D big cloud, probably the way to go. Got some like gravity defying lamp over here. Babe cave, neon sign, anybody? How is it that everything I click on just so happens to be on a lightning deal? And almost sold out. And or, yeah, <laughs> and almost sold out. It's gotta be something with LEDs in it, hasn't it? Cool mirror? All right, let's give this. That's a pretty funky speaker. <laughs> Even if it is called Sanag. It's a map that just says, get naked. <laughs> Please don't get there. Are you sure? I was, I was just about to. I do love the idea of a beanbag, but it just seems like they won't ship you the beans. Get hot enough. Oh yeah, she does, good idea. Ah, this one's interesting. It's not super cute per se, but I like the fact that it's a, a multi-pronged attack to the cooling solution. Luxurious double layer coffee table trash can. It looks like something you cook rice in. Stay hydrated anywhere with this portable astronaut humidifier. What are you gonna just hold your mouth over it? It's like an infinity mirror, but filled with flowers. So they just look like they go on forever, even though the depth of the mirror itself is like this. an optical drawing board that allows you to pull up an image you want to sketch on your phone and then actually draw it on the piece of paper yourself. That's so smart. Rotating makeup brush holder. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's not cool. Arcade cabinet. I'm assuming this is like a tiny little thing. Is 2.8 enough? <laughs> this site definitely has a very similar feel to Wish in that you just feel like you can continuously scroll and find new stuff. What? <laughs> you can get Crocs for your Crocs. Oh, you can also get headlights. They like stick into the little holes and light up your path. Who walks a tortoise? Can you imagine the speed of that walk? <laughs> I'm getting into the dark parts of Timu. Time to close the app. No. <laughs> right now, half of this app for me is just cats. Why is it that none of these cats look like they're having a good time? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I need to stop, Trisha. Can you just take it away? Please. Had to happen. I am really confused right now. You know how when we normally do these buying sections, we order, we wait for like one to two months, and then we film? Yeah, well, it's been four days since I ordered this stuff, which means Timu must actually keep local stock of products. So, here's the plan. Because I thought this whole thing would take a month to arrive, my sister would have been long gone at university. As it is, she's downstairs. And that is where Trisha comes in. She is an exam in four days, and I've promised her a day of studying all around town. I'm gonna have to try and convince her to spend the entire day going from Starbucks to Costa, to the library, to the park, so you guys have as much time as possible to turn this into something insane. And while they do that, I've got to do the fastest clear out of my life, unbox and set up all of these new products, paying particular attention to how good or bad they actually are, and get the room completely ready for the big surprise. So she had a really bad sleep last night. She's not going to want to stay out the entire day. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> Let's go. I can't believe this is what we're working with. If I don't work fast, she's going to be back before I've even finished cleaning. You have to go from the biggest book to the smallest book. She really loves Harry Potter. Is that an eraser? Can I just rub out this room? So we just need to find a way to spray this nicely. Oh, I remember this. 
this? How did it end up here? She's probably munching on a full English breakfast right now. I'm munching on the dust. This chair is absolutely grim. We can't use it. Josh, this is her current keyboard. I can actually safely say the Timu one is going to be a massive upgrade. I've got a calendar here from 2020. Probably the last time she used this room. I think it's just really difficult sometimes to throw your own stuff. You just get really emotionally attached to it. That's where I come in. One thing I gotta say I do not like about this room is this light here. The bright side of how many LED products we bought is that hopefully we won't even have to use it. Finally take out the dust from this room. It's Timu time. Right, so it looks like everything's been shipped in a total of six packages. We'll say the plastic was already tearing slightly around the edges. Looks like most things come in a pretty simple generic box. Or a bag. Oh, mini fridge. Ooh, that really is mini. To be fair, this is exactly the kind of cute vibe she's gonna love. So it's made of pretty cheap plastic, but it's nicely constructed. Like it's even got a rubber ring to make sure that it seals when you close it. Plus an actually working handle. What? It's a car charger. Why? Kind of need to run out and get an adapter. Jeez. It's going to be a really nice way to have a mid-work break. We've got a blender. We've got the sunset lamp. This should be the first thing we set up for the atmosphere. And then LED desk lamp with wireless charger. Considering the product looks so good, it's really strange to see packaging that looks this poor. You can actually see traces of it being designed on Microsoft Word. Anything to do with lighting is my kind of jam. It is the way to create atmosphere in a room. Oh. <laughs> I don't love the fact that the entire circuit board is on full display, but to be fair, I guess the idea of it is to reflect off a wall. So we'll just face it away. So I've got to say so far, this all feels very superficial and like hollow. And at the same time with stuff like this, if the light itself is good, you shouldn't actually need to touch it. Moment of truth. Okay. That's actually not bad at all, considering the room is already so well lit. Oh, it actually has other different colors. That said, I feel like every time you have to use one of these remotes to control them, you're not really ever going to do it. But I guess the point is, for the price I paid for this, I don't feel misled. This will be an interesting one to see if the product on the inside ends up being as cheap as the packaging looks. I paid about £20 for this, which is actually not crazy cheap. I think a big part of Timu's appeal is that on top of the already lower prices, you can stack up loads of coupons. It generally feels pretty solid, so it's got both USB-C input and output, which means that if you have another device to charge that doesn't specifically fit on one of those, you can just do it via an external cable. I think this is actually the perfect thing to finish off this corner, because that also means we can plug it into the same socket if we just put a phone in. Oh, no way. That's amazing. Now we got the big boy. Now I actually bought a light that looks exactly like this for an amount of money that I'm not proud of. So this is one of those ones where I have a direct point of comparison in my mind. This one looks like a bit of a DIY project. Five minutes later. Okay, so we finally finished. And honestly, this is amazing. This is like two times the size of the one I bought. So it's not perfectly diffused, like you can see the spots where the lights are coming from. But the whole idea of this is that you stick it against a wall and shoot into it. So that shouldn't be a problem. It's actually so tall that it doesn't fit against any other walls in this room, but somehow perfectly into this space under the desk. This is a very extra feature to have sitting under your desk, but pretty inexpensive for quite a lot of light output. So I will take it. Blender time. I actually talked about this in a recent video. Love the idea of a portable blender, but in practice, there's just never a time and place that you actually use one. Okay, banana. Now, if this can successfully blend this without throwing it across my room, it is a blender for a tenth of the price. It does sound like there's a tiny bit more friction going on, and the banana is definitely still chunkier than it would have been in the blender. I'd say it's 50% as good as a blender, which is not to say that this is amazing, it's more to say that that. It's not worth $50. I want to say this is a massive LED light strip. And I would be right. I don't think I've ever in my life seen one this long. But you can also immediately tell how spaced out each LED is, which slightly counteracts the impressiveness of the length. Okay, so this is one USB plug powering both massive strips. Let's see if 2.1 amps can actually power both of these. Yes, it can. They're not the brightest, but I think they'll add the necessary atmosphere. Oh, yes. I gotta say, when you space out this lighting over the entire room, it's making a large difference per dollar spent. It's slightly scary, though, that it just takes one break in one part of this cable for the entire thing to go down. Aaron? Oh, yeah, literally, this thing keeps going on. I'm still going. Anytime you go in a direction, there's no going back. <laughs> Take the wallpaper with you. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Um, it looks like, yeah, like the local Chinese. <laughs> right, finally, something uncomplicated. It's a banana. 
just imagining Milo sticking his head out there. I mean, you definitely get the feeling that it's made with cheap foam on the inside, but the outside is furry enough that it actually feels pretty nice. Let's face it, Milo's not going to complain. The only thing, which is quite funny and sad, is that Milo seems to be able to identify which is the most expensive chair in a house and sit on that one. So, see if Timu can sway him. Okay, this is perfect. Cats love to be covered from as many different angles as possible. Okay, pretty sure there's only one box inside of this. I literally thought that first box was gonna take us 20 minutes to get through. It took us two hours. I'm pretty sure this is our mirror. So the actual mirror itself seems much higher quality than I was expecting. It's just that they've saved on costs and shipping by making it smaller than it looked. Actually, very clear. Oh, it's too clear. <laughs> I feel like this has to go right in the middle. I thought it was going to fill this whole space. Call me crazy, this might actually be the best way to cover up the worst feature in this room. That's not great, is it? <laughs> so, so far, these products, I mean, they're not the best, but it does seem like they deliver on their promise of cool stuff at a cheap price. So I guess the big question is, how? This is the kind of stuff I like. Light up your happiness. Oh, that's deep. Well, I think the first key thing to understand is that everyone who's selling on Timu is not Timu themselves. Timu is basically just an Amazon, but it still doesn't quite explain why it's so much more affordable. This is actually the most premium feeling item we've had so far. I want to say these aren't real stones, but you'd have a hard time telling. How is it that Timu is able to handle all the logistics, the payments, the supplying, the delivery of all of these products with the end items still being so affordable? This is our good vibe sign. It's definitely not real neon. It's just going to be like an LED strip behind it, but it is a good vibe, not a great one. So I think what Timu we must have done is cut out all middlemen, meaning that all the sellers that you're finding on this website, they are like the manufacturers themselves. Hey, this is clean. And when you have like the manufacturers of products themselves selling, they're the ones who are actually okay with taking like a 10% cut, so long as they're getting large volumes, which I'm guessing Timu can guarantee them. And then I also imagine just in the name of trying to grow a lot of market share very quickly, Timu themselves is probably willing to make a little bit less profit at the start. And then also because the company's so new, I imagine that they're trying to give both sellers and the buyers the most favorable terms possible because you want to try and make a good impression. So this astronomer thing is actually like a magnetic ball head so you can rotate it at whatever angle you want. And then the backpack of the astronomer has star mode and then nebula mode. I think right here would be like a perfect spot shooting up at the ceiling. Wow. Well, it definitely works. <laughs> so it's got LED lights for the nebula effect that you're seeing there, and then a laser for the stars so that they remain the brightest part of the image. And then this, aha. Uh -huh. I think this is a banana. <laughs> Whatever this is, that is not how you present a product. It looks like it's had pretty severe discoloration, maybe from sitting outside for a long time. Oh, it's <laughs> a shock. Okay, so the bottom cushion is removable. You can actually feel the individual tufts of cotton inside. So this obviously isn't going to work as a desk chair probably be a pretty good reading chair. So we can leave it next to the books. Oh, the banana's great. That is exactly what I had in my mind. And the back of these neon signs looks so bad. It's kind of like every single Timu product we've looked at so far, it looks good, but from the one specific angle that it's meant to be photographed from, and then everything else is just a mess. All right, here we go, the big banana. This one, I think will contrast really well with the wood. And then we've got the white cable that will be hidden by this beam here, and the plug socket is right there. It's a really pleasant color. <laughs> the little Milo food things. Dare I smell it? Mm. It's like herbal. With like a hint of chicken. <laughs> Is that the astronaut? Yeah, that doesn't sound how it's meant to. It might be overheating. A good note for anyone considering buying one of those cat treats right next to the bed. If this doesn't get either of the cats coming to this room, nothing's going to. This is so far my favorite team product. Oh, there you go. Oh, I like that. It's so premium from this angle, but then you just turn it over. Then you've got the bottom of it, which is basically just like a tiny little sliver of paper. Point is on Timu, corners are definitely cut. Okay, keyboard will sit nicely here. It's very cushioned, which is not normally what a keyboard enthusiast would be after. But to be honest, I don't mind it, because in a way it's better for your hands and your wrists. Oh no, Drisha just messaged to say that my sister's finished all of her work for the day and is starting to think about coming home. <sighs> to speed up, but there's so many products. Oh my God. I think we need some help. Teamwork kind of situation. All right. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Oh, so this is our humidifier. Again, smaller than I expected it would be. Okay, this one I like. So you click the humidifier button, it starts creating gas, and then when you click the light button, you can see it. It doesn't look like fire, but it's a nice ambience. Like, it definitely highlights the mist in a way that makes it look interesting. 
Ah yes, the air cooler fan. The packaging gives me zero confidence in the product. It also smells like something. Like, like a farm. Not in a good way. It's actually quite a nice two-in-one, because it can cover the cable of the LED and the banana. So you've got one button here which controls the amount of mist, and there's three levels to that. And then you pair that with three levels of different fan to blow that mist at you. And then we can actually amplify that. We make that water iced. <laughs> Even though there's no actual refrigeration happening here, the combination of cold water plus air is very, very refreshing. Plus there's also different LED colors and a timer. This is definitely the most useful product so far. Oh, this is our drawing tool. I feel like this is one of those. It's a very good idea. And once you have that good idea, the actual execution of it is really simple. It's literally just reflective piece of plastic and plastic. Ah, yes. Manufacturer name, Hefei Tuan Yi Trading Co. It's my favorite company. I thought this was going to be like a centerpiece of a room. It's literally going to be the centerpiece of a bedside table, if that. Okay, so this has actually been a full 20 minute construction project. You have to put together every single flower and then thread through the LED bulbs so they sit on the inside. And then you've got the back mirror, which creates like a sandwich of mirrors around those flowers. And that's what allows it to look like it's reflecting into infinity. Okay, let's see if I've screwed this up. Ah, oh, I've screwed up the wiring slightly on the inside. You know what? That's probably the most tasteful thing we've bought so far. This is very clean. I like the fact that we don't have to worry about more cables. We've got a bag. What? Is this like merch? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's a returns bag, which is kind of nice of them. I mean, Wish.com doesn't do that. But then, is that a sign that they're expecting you to return lots of things? This looks like our trash can. I mean, it's a really nice finish. Again, white and rose gold. That works nicely. Plus, I appreciate the fact they've got felt pads on the base. That probably makes it better for a desk prop. And yeah, it has some clever spring action on the inside to give it a self-opening mechanism. But it's just so mini. I mean, can you even fit like a can inside? No, you can't, actually. This would kind of be the perfect starter bin bag for the bin. That can go right there. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. So much stuff. Oh, this is our speaker. This is the, uh, the good old Sanag. Oh, it's a beefy unit of a speaker. Power it on. Is that Bluetooth mode? Okay, I mean, potential plagiarism aside, it feels very, very premium. And if it sounds good too, I would actually go as far as to say, bit of a bar. That was Skrillex, I think. <laughs> okay, so you can click the back to change between different lighting modes. It's got one that seems like it responds to the music. It adds a lot to the ambience, I'll give it that. And if we turn the volume up, does the light react more vigorously? Oh, that's volume. Look at that. Up and then down. Okay, so I think the LED aspect of this is a showstopper. It's the best looking LED gadget so far. But the sound is quite compressed. Like, you basically got the bass coming out of here and everything else comes out of this tiny area here. If we keep it here though, it's a cool touch. And it'd be nice to have some ambient music playing as she comes in. I think I know what these are. Bag of LEDs. Clouds. Yep, she's literally gonna be here in like 40 minutes. So. Let's just stick with the big ones. So this is definitely like a general theme that you notice with Timu, that everything comes in this way that you have to assemble it yourself such that it can come in the smallest possible package. So it's literally yet another one of these LED strips that you just shove inside the cotton. It even gives you a set of disposable gloves. So it says, wrap the light strip in cotton with glue. I'm just gonna cover it in glue. It can actually be as big or as small as you want it to be, depending on how much you unfluff it. The cotton automatically diffuses light in a way that really looks like a thunderstorm. Okay, I know these are designed to be hung off ceilings, but I, I just don't want a cable that looks this long and messy to be hanging from anywhere. So we'll just stick it in here for storage. Cloud storage. I've just realized it's also voice activated. Surprisingly cool. Ah, this might be our rug. Would be a really good finishing touch. And second part now. I'll spot the thing called a nice pink one, which we can use to hide some cables on this side. Do you like sharks? What can I say? This one I'm curious about, because if you've ever gone online and actually tried to buy a rug from a reasonable company, they're very expensive. It's like a, it's like a pillow. Oh, that's so interesting. The fabric is so, so thin and light, but at the same time, very fluffy. It's literally got the thickness of like a mattress protector, but that actually works when you've already got a soft carpet underneath. Wouldn't be a great solution if this was like hard flooring. You can kind of feel in your hands exactly how they've cut the corners, but it almost doesn't really matter. Grisha's just texted. She is asking about heading back now. Okay, 
final blitz clean. There we go. Oh, actually, forgot to say, this morning I just booked my flights to Japan. That's my next holiday. But what's crazy to me is that when you're looking at flight prices online, you can literally just pull up Surfshark VPN, change your location to, say, Brazil, and watch in real time as the price comes down. I mean, it only saved me like $10 in this case, but I've been reading online and there are legitimately people who've used VPNs to save themselves like 400. And Surfshark has saved me in so many ways that I did not expect. Like a couple of months ago, I was in Portugal on holiday. I was desperately trying to log into my YouTube account to fix something, but because YouTube detected my login was from Portugal, it actually flagged it as suspicious activity and popped up a menu asking me to use one of my verification keys to confirm that it was me. That verification key just so happened to have broken that same morning. So I was thinking, oh my God, I can't get into my account. But then I remembered I can just use Surfshark to change my location back to the UK. And when I did that, the menu that asked for extra verification didn't appear and I was able to actually fix the problem and carry on with my holiday. Now that's obviously a pretty niche example. You're more likely to use it to enjoy international Netflix shows or just general internet safety, but the point stands. And using the code BOSS, you can get it for less than $3 a month for an unlimited number of accounts with an extra three months for free and a money back guarantee. Right, time to get her. When was the last time you cleaned your den? Do you want to have a look at what it's like now? Your room looks like your room. Let's probably not look at that. However... Whoa! Oh my God! Is this for me? That is for you. <laughs> oh, it's wet! Why is it wet? Oh, it could be the humidifier, to be fair. We sorted all your Pokemon cards. Oh, I didn't even know I had that many! Wow! Come into the main area. Oh no, why is there a banana? <laughs> <laughs> is that a mini fridge? Oh my god, this is everything I've ever wanted. Does it work? Yeah, so we couldn't actually get the power to work because it was for a car. <laughs> this is so cool, guys. What do you think to the rug? I love it, it's really soft. Try it, eh? It's a Timu smoothie. Have you made it? Timu made it. It's actually not bad. Okay, there you go. What am I supposed to put in that? It's a bin. Put Milo's droppings. Oh, I think he's taking care of it in that bin. <laughs> this is the cat section. He was loving it earlier. He was just sat there licking these. I don't know why I just touched it. <laughs> That's his bed. What exactly are you trying to achieve with my den? <laughs> what do you think, Mum? Are you just glad it's had a clean? The whole time you've been out, everything has been to keep you away from here. No! This is my idea though, going out. Yeah, that's what you think. Thank you. Oh, okay. You're welcome.